friendly greetings. You've joined me, Torley, for Project Preset with Evolve Mutations number two, and we are going through the percussive kits in this volume. Let me show you what it can do. It's a little taste there, these aqueous slammers. Sometimes it sounds like these gas tanks are being pounded upon. These are the visions which I have, and I'm showing off the trigger effects. Now, something very cool ab about this mutations is each of the sections has its own kind of color coded. Like, I'll just go forward in time and just drag one of these over, and you notice it turns to red there. Well, let's go back here to the percussive kits anyway. And you can see it's a beautiful user interface. It's upgraded from the first one. And I like how it's just very, very easy to use, very self-explanatory, at the same time, very powerful. You get to the controls you want, in case in point, these trigger effects. One thing I do wish for the trigger effects is that you could set a curve time of how quickly it comes in and like attack and release for it. Sometimes it can be clicky like that. Wheel doing something there. As you know, if you watch my videos, I am a tremendous fan of Mod Wheel. Adding any sort of expression, aftertouch, Mod Wheel, even, even things you can do with the knobs and the sliders very easily, which of course you can here. You can assign, you can right click and learn MIDI automation. Let's move on. I'm going to show you all of these one by one. Let's see, nothing on that octave. Oh, there we go. So these ones are not loops, they're single hits. Okay, I have to learn where they are. There. Sometimes there's an indication of which keys you could press, but not in that one. Hardcore headbanging. Like I said, you can add these trigger effects. It's good to have an idea what they do. This, this octave, almost this octave up here. Crunch. That filter sweeps is cool. Let's go. Sweep them together. Electrolysis. So there you have very, very crunchy, very distorted. It's nice, nice because you don't have to apply any effects another effect after this, there's effects built in and the sounds themselves have quite an aggressive degree of di distortion when you need it. And as the case with my project presets, I point out what I love and the things which I think I would love better if they were done differently. <laughs> so I think of dentist menace like Dentist the medicine, <laughs> like Dustin Hoffman. Is it safe? I wonder if any of these were actually made with dental tools. I love the stories behind the sound. This is something which, which would be fantastic to see with these sounds. Quite a variation, lots of rich stuff. Some of these sounds are so space 
heavy that you're going to want to use the high pass filter to shove off the low end if you combine it with other loops because they're going to take up a lot of room. They're designed to impress that way. Sometimes you don't need to use them in that capacity or you could swell, you could grow it into that. Let's see, into the part. Impressive Foley work is what I hear. I have my umbil umbilical cord. Found, found sounds like the Eskimon project, which I was recently listening to. Eamon, Eamon, Eamon Tobin. An Eskimo. I forgot to switch to the next one. Oh, that, that is the vault menu, so I'll... What's it? It's different. Ah. So you could use them as sound effects, or in, within your music, if you need a percussive hit, that's what I sometimes do. Instead of a cymbal, I'll reach for something like this. It's nice and nice and weighty. I was gonna say meaty, but I was like, it's metal. How can it be meaty? This is the kind of thing I love to do on Sunday nights. <laughs> I mean, my Hawaiian shirt. Get off! I just had a new monk's meal. Wonderful. It's avocado, seaweed, and halibut. Highly recommend it. My wife does a lovely job. <laughs> Build up something like that. Be creative. Metal apocalypse or metopolis or something. A portmanteau for the ages. You get the feeling here. It's like some sort of spaceship control. Some some in industrial. It does look quite machine. Even even an edge, there's a, if you look very closely, it's nice because there's some, some grit and grime. It's not perfect. There's little, little smears, little rusts. And that makes me think of steampunk. Maybe volume three would be all about steampunk. <laughs> it's like trendy. Let's go up, chromatic. That's a lot of variety right there, folks. Okay, let's see. Vibing the ethnic MW mod wheel, my favorite. Let's see what it. It seems to be subtle. Oh, it's a yeah, that's a... Move my chair back. Very playable. Next, oh, back to that. It's back to Aquatic Slammer. So the next section, oh, Percussive Kids, that's done. Watch the next video for the stings and transitions. Well, evolve mutations too.